for scientists and ordinary people, the announcements which will be made today are very, very significant because they will add to our knowledge of who we are and to our, our knowledge of how diverse we belong to that species, the human species. The cradle of humankind, world heritage site, which is uh, where we are today, also tells a very complex story of humanity's evolution. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we are here to listen to new announcements, but we know that we must continue to invest in research. World-class scientific research is the only way to build a much better country indeed, a much better continent, and a much better world. In the last three years, our teams working here in the Cradle of Humankind region have discovered more individual ancient human relative remains than were discovered in the entire history of the search for human origins on the continent of Africa. But it's also not just about discovering the fossils, it's about analyzing them. Homo naledi very quickly became a very well-known species, perhaps the best-known species of early hominid ever discovered simply because we had so much. I would remind you that we had at that time from uh, fetal-aged individuals to the elderly, something like 15 individuals that we'd recovered from that chamber. And it's important to note that there are potentially thousands and thousands of remains still inside of that chamber waiting to be recovered remains that we are leaving for future generations of scientists or being cautious in extraction with for technology to meet the difficulty of working in this environment. Of course, the critical issue at the time was how old was Homo naledi? I have never been asked more about dating since I was 16 years old over the last several years um, because it was understood to be critical to understand where was the place of this. What was Homo naledi, this unusual, small-brained hominid that was clearly a member of our genus, but different in so many ways from anything we had seen before, both primitive and advanced in many ways. Well, today, I am pleased to tell you that we can tell you the age of Homo naledi from the Dinaledi chamber. Through a extraordinary... Uh, uh, cooperative endeavor done by geochronologists across the world, of which Professor Paul Dirks will tell you in just a moment the details of, we can tell you that Homo naledi is 236,000 to 335,000 years before present. That, ladies and gentlemen, is surprising. When we announced Homo naledi and others as well as ourselves looked at it, the idea was based on its morphology it would probably be millions of years in age, perhaps even older than two and a half million years in age due to the nature of its anatomy being at the very, very root of the genus Homo. I'm also here to tell you that during the Rising Star Expedition, it was recognized that there was a second chamber a second chamber about 100 meters away from the first chamber. And that chamber we have called the Lissetti Chamber. And the Lissetti Chamber is almost as difficult to get to as the Dinaledi Chamber. It's not quite as difficult. Lissetti means light, and within it, perhaps, are the most important things, spectacular hominid fossils. I will just give you a sneak peek of a reconstruction of something that sits in this box. Uh, here, this is a reconstruction by Professor Peter Schmidt of a spectacular new hominid fossil skeleton amongst other individuals of Homo naledi that have been discovered in the Lissetti chamber. Uh, and, uh, 